watching the replay. I wasn't planning on coming on live. I haven't done one of these in a very long time, but I was reflecting uh, while I was having lunch of just like, wow, it's been a month since everything started in the Middle East with Israel and Palestine with the, well, not that when it started, but like when the bombings and the atrocities that are going on started. Can you believe it? And it's been a really tough month for a lot of people. And while it's been tough, I'm choosing to see the silver lining in what's going on by seeing how many people of all races, genders, um, ethnicities, religious backgrounds, everyone is coming together for humanity. And while the media may not show that in terms of the mainstream media, because obviously they have an agenda and they love to instill fear, I don't, that new emoji thing creeps me out, <laughs> but that they love to instill fear, they're going to have a certain agenda that will, you know, feed that story. And so I just first want, before I dive in, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has been taking the time to stand up, who has been taking the time to educate themselves, to educate others, and are demanding something else than what we're experiencing because it's not okay, right? And so today I heard loud and clear, like, hey, the best way that I can help of course, I'm not over there, but the best way that I can help is by helping my community own their power so that when we are in our power, we can implement real change, right? We create a ripple effect in our communities because the thing that we have to remember, the thing that we have to understand is that there's only one of us here. Everything outside of us is simply an illusion. Everything we're seeing going on, we don't have to abide by it. And they're saying like, we don't have to consent to it is what I should say. We don't have to consent to what we're seeing and saying that, that it is what it is. No, we can say this is not okay. And I choose to not allow this to be my reality. And it's interesting, there's people, you're going to see who are the people who are on the right side of history and who are the people who may be acting out of hate, acting out of fear, acting out of past programming, acting out of trauma. And of course, doing our best to give ourselves, to give them compassion because everyone's doing their best based on their level of awareness. But it's up to us to say, hey, I'm going to do something about this for the better of humanity, for the better of my community, and for the better of my life, right? Again, you are the star of your story. This is your reality. And you say, I don't consent to this. They're like, yes, more of this, please. If we choose to not consent to something, we need to focus our energy more of what we do want. Because if you're constantly feeding what you don't want, you're going to experience more of that because your energy is in that. If your energy is in the scarcity, if your energy is in war, if your energy is in the trauma, if it's in the negativity, whatever it may be, we are going to feed what it is that we put most of our energy in. So if, if you instead to choose to if you instead to choose to put your energy into the results, if you instead choose to put your energy into bringing peace, if you instead choose to focus on the solutions, if you instead choose to focus on whatever it is, then it doesn't necessarily have to be what's going on with Israel and Palestine. You can put this into any thing that's going on in your life. But a month later, and we're still in this, and we're seeing what's going on, and thousands of lives have been taken, something needs to change. And so I heard loud and clear, hey, it's time to help people experience, as many people as you can, experience their sovereign embodiment. 
it's up to us to say, hey, enough is enough. This is not the life that I want to live. I'm going to choose to take care of myself. I'm going to choose to heal myself because the inner creates the outer, right? When we start to take radical responsibility for our lives, from healing ourselves, inner child trauma, uh, generational trauma, conditions, um, patterns, all the things that are out of alignment, shifting that. When we start t doing that work and, and shifting our reality and shifting our mindset and our perception of things, that is going to create a ripple effect out into the world. I say this all the time. The last to catch up is the 3D. And based off of what I've seen, you know, in the past month, because I'll admit I was someone who is not deeply aware of what was going on with Israel and Palestine before this, but I will also share that when I was in college, I almost became a Holocaust studies minor, but I was like, one, what am I going to do with this? <laughs> and two, I wanted to finish school in four years because I transferred and so I didn't go down that route, but it's something I regret all the time, but it is what it is. Um, so there's things that, you know, I'm, I know for me in my life, I'm actively doing the best that I can to take care of myself and well-being so that one, I don't allow the density and the intensity of the world to steer me off course from living out my divine purpose and my divine mission and hearing the divine guidance versus hearing the, the noise of the enemy who is trying to tell me and instill fear and all this crap that isn't of peace, right? Isn't going to support me doing God's work, me living out my highest potential. And this is what I want for you. Of course, what we're seeing right now is atrocious. What we're seeing right now is not okay. But are you going to allow the world outside of you something you're not even part of because you're just passing through, right? You're not of this world. You're passing through. You came here during this revolutionary time in human history to be part of the solution. There's something that you carry. There's something within you. There is a gift that you have that no one else has quite like you. And we need it now more than ever. We need people to answer the call and to do something about what's going on. Even if you're obviously not over there, or maybe you are, but if you aren't, how can you create a ripple effect within your own personal life, within your families, within your communities, within your workspaces, whatever it may be? How, because that will create a ripple effect. There's only one, right? There is the idea of separation. What separates us from one and one, from one another is the ego, edging God out. We're all made in the likeness of God. The, the identities that we have of like, cool, I am a female who is a online coach and whatever identities that I have. Those are the, and whatever identities you have too. That's what separates us. But when you create, when you do the work within, it's going to create a ripple effect to everyone that you are connected with. And I know for me, that's been so much of my journey the last 11 years of healing myself, of doing the deep work is like, cool, if I can take care of myself and take responsibility for my life and my side of the, of the street and like my life choices and things that I needed to take radical responsibility for, forgiveness, all of that, me doing that is going to create a ripple effect in the people I meet because the inner creates the outer. And again, because the 3D is the last to catch up, everything we're seeing right here right now is because of our past beliefs, past circumstances, past programming, uh, past actions. It's all catching up in the 3D. Some, the, the, the dimension that we can realize or witness, I should say, with our five senses. That's the 3D and it's the last to catch up, but you are a multidimensional being, right? So I wanted to share that I know the holidays are coming up and to me, it just doesn't feel right to start a group co coaching program because I know these next, what, seven, eight, seven, eight weeks are going to be a lot, probably the next seven weeks. There's a lot going on. <laughs> We've got holiday parties coming up and 
Christmas shopping and Thanksgiving and Hanukkah and Kwanzaa, whatever holidays you want to experience, they're all coming up right here right now. And so I didn't feel it was right to necessarily start the group program of Thrive, but I do want to share that I am going to be doing Thrive come January 2024. If you don't know what Thrive is, Thrive is my signature course to help you experience sovereign embodiment. It's a self-realization journey. It's an eight-week program, has revolutionized the lives of so many people, including myself. And right now, if you purchase the flow on your own, you can join us in the group experience come January at a discounted rate. The reason why I wanted to share this with you now is because if you take the time to hone in to the the courses, the course and the course material, I should say, uh, I feel like it can help create a ripple effect into the world that you're seeing. I've seen so many lives change because of this program. People overcame smoking addictions. People were overcoming the grief and the sadness that they had after their husband suddenly passed, like deep inner child healing work, reclaiming their power, like the transformations I've seen from Thrive has been phenomenal. And with the current state of the world, this is how I'm doing my best to do something about it. I want to help my community reclaim their power, own their power, and be in their sovereign embodiment because sovereignty is our birthright. And that's what we're seeing right now. We are seeing more and more people rise up and say enough is enough. We deserve peace on earth. We don't need to be feeding war. We don't need to be having this division and this fighting. All of that is old paradigm way of being and all of that is dying out, which is why we're experiencing what we're seeing is because the old powers that were centered around war and fear, very Piscean age, They're not going to be able to be sustained with where we're going with this Aquarian age. This is what we're anchoring in. And that's why the past couple years have been extremely difficult is because we are literally shedding old layers and going through a rebirth individually and as humanity. And so I want to help you get through these transitional times with a lot more ease, a lot more grace, and I want you to feel supported because a month later of what we're seeing, no, <laughs> enough is enough. That There's been so much money spent, unnecessary money spent. There have been so many deaths. The amount of trauma that these children will have that have lost everyone in their family, this is not okay. Enough is enough. I don't care. Like, this doesn't have to be like a sided thing. This is to be on the side of humanity. You're either pro humanity or pro genocide right now. Plain and simple. And so, again, it's crazy out there. (laughs) I want you to take time for yourself to go within, shift your reality, shift your perception. Shift the conditions and the beliefs and the patterns. Say enough is enough. Focus on becoming this new blessed up version of you so that it creates a ripple effect in the world that you see outside of you. It takes us doing the inner work to start to shift the external work. That's a major step. Of course, we can take initiative and go out there and, you know, all these protests that are happening, people reaching out to their congressmen and their senators asking for ceasefires, like amazing work, keep going. (laughs) With that being said, imagine what will happen when you start to shift yourself and you shift your brain, you shift your patterning, you start new neurotransmitters are being fired and new ways of being. Trust me, I have been studying the brain for the past three years since I've been in and out of the hospital with seizures. I have seen pictures of my brain. I've been lucky enough to see pictures of my brain, multiple pictures of my brain that obviously I have a deep passion for mindset rewiring. I'm going to prove to my doctors that I'm going to heal myself naturally from seizures. This is a mindset. I want you to have the mindset that you're going to see change in the world. I want you to have the mindset that you're going to see that what is happening between Israel and Palestine 
you're going to see a ceasefire. You're going to see that peace will be attained because it's always darkest before the dawn, right? And after all chaos comes order. Unfortunately, we had to go through what we're going through so that we can see what's actually happening because so many people have either been blindsided, um, they've been unaware, they've been bypassing, and this shit needed to be seen so that we can do something about it. Plain and simple. So I want to help you own your power. I want to help you shift your mindset, your perception, reclaim your power back and set precedent, not just for your life, but for the generations to come, because we carry seven generations of our ancestral trauma. We also set the tone for the next seven generations, which is why I want to help you reclaim your power. I want you to reach self have go on a self-realization journey to reach self-actualization i want you to reach sovereign embodiment that is the journey of thrive so again if you want to dive in now you can pay in full for this eight part program the workbook in itself is incredible the each chapter comes with an incredible deep dive workbook you're going to have kundalini yoga meditations you're going to have uh, pre-recorded videos. If you go on the flow on your own, the pay in full is seven seven seven. Two monthly payments of four forty four, or three monthly payments of three thirty three, and that's for the flow on your own. If you want to join us in January, again, if you decide to purchase them, go get a, a discount to join in for the group coaching call. But at least you can start now and start shifting your reality and start doing something about it. So again. I'm doing everything in my power to educate, to bring awareness, to stand up for justice, um, to, sta to speak for those who've been silenced. I'm a great communicator. I'm a Gemini with the Jupiter conjunction, exact conjunction, and I'm also a Virgo moon, so Mercury is in my chart, right? Like, I am a, very, I am a communicator. And so I want to help you start to communicate your truth. I want you to help you to start to embody your truth, to reach that sovereign embodiment, to unleash your medicine with the world, which is why I heard like, yo, we're going to relaunch Thrive in January. And I'm very excited. I haven't been able to have the energy to host a course or a program in quite some times because I've been sick. I've been in and out of the hospital. And so... This has been like a really rough year for me, but it's okay. It's brought me wisdom. And now there's so much fire within me, again, to be part of the solution and to help you unleash your medicine and activate your legacy. So all in all, I just want you to know humanity will win. We will win. And how we win is by us taking responsibility for our lives and doing something about it first, filling up our cup so that we can share from the overflow. And when we share from that overflow, we create a ripple effect and impact the lives of so many people. You, you won't even know whose lives you're making a difference just by a simple conversation that you have or you taking that leap and doing something and being brave and courageous and having that be a permission slip for someone or to, you know, someone to be like, well, if they can do it, I can do it too. That's what we need right now. Of course, there's a lot going on and seeing these videos and these photos of like kids without their heads on their bodies, it's, it's awful. And of course, it's important to know what's going on, but we also can't get too deep in and sucked in. We have to know when to honor our boundary and pray and say enough is enough. Relinquish that control. I shared that uh, reel that I shared uh, earlier today. We need to relinquish control, give it up to God, and remember God is love. So how can we start to love ourselves so that we can create that ripple effect to love others? How can we choose to be part of the solution within our own lives of healing, ancestral trauma, childhood trauma, ancestral karma, rewire, re, repattern, let go of old, outdated beliefs and conditions and focus on what we actually believe in, who we truly are, so that it creates an impact in our lives and the lives of those we'll meet. This is how we're going to win. 
So again, if you're interested to learn more about Thrive, send me a DM. I'm very excited. I sent an email today to my email list that like, hey, if you want to start diving in, again, 777 for the pay in full, it's a steal. I, that course used to be over $1,000 plus, but right now for the flow on your own, I want as many people to sign up so that again, we can create this ripple effect. 444 for two monthly payments, 333 for three monthly payments. Uh, and then again, if you sign up now, when I do the group coaching program after the holidays so that we can all be present and do it in January, you'll get a deeper discount, uh, to join the group coaching, uh, pieces so that you can meet with me biweekly for the eight weeks and we can dive in deeper. So again, I believe in us. <laughs> I believe that we came here during this revolutionary time in human history to be part of the solution. I believe that God will always give us what we can handle and we're going to get through this. And we're going to remember people from all races, ethnicities, religious backgrounds, upbringings, genders, anything that has separated us or has brought us as an individual We've all come together fighting for, for peace. And it's not even, and it's, it's hard to say. I, I, I always have a hard time saying fighting for peace because it's kind of contradicting. Uh, but we're demanding peace, I should say. And we're taking that initiative and it's going to happen. You have to believe in it first and you have to believe that the peace within you first <laughs> The inner creates the outer. And that's the big thing I really, again, want to help you with. So if you have any questions, hit me up. If you just jumped on the video and you want to, you want to rewatch this, please do. I'm just, I'm just so fired up right now. I think it's because again, having almost died from seizures a couple times and being in and out of the hospital. I want to do everything in my power to be part of the solution and to really support sovereign leaders. That's why we're here. We're here to lead. We're here to answer the call. We're here to be part of the solution and we're here to revolutionize the world with our medicine. So thank you for being here. May peace prevail, cease fire now, and let us see the lives that we want. Let us create the reality that we truly desire. I love you. Thank you. Again, check out Thrive. You can go to sabrinaricciocom slash thrive. Um, and, or you can, you know, send me a DM and I'll share with you more. You can also click the link in my bio and we'll go from there. Thank you so much. Have a great one. God bless. And, uh, I'll see you soon. Take care. Sign on.